Heart to Heart, a Catholic media ministry presents Season of Joy, Reflections for the 50 Days of Easter. Today's reflection is by Father Mitch Pacwa, SJ. Father Mitch is a Jesuit priest, world-renowned lecturer, spiritual director for over 50 Holy Land pilgrimages, respected scripture scholar, published author, and the host of EWTN's television and radio shows. He is also the president and founder of Ignatius Productions, a Catholic media production apostolate. Now, let's listen to today's scripture, followed by Father Mitch's reflection. The Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you, and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this, to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. We celebrate the great feast of St. Matthias the Apostle. In the first reading from Acts, the apostles had a very clear sense that they needed to have a twelfth after the suicide of Judas Iscariot because Jesus Christ had come to begin a new Israel that new Israel entailed having 12 apostles as a parallel to the 12 patriarchs of Israel's founding. And they didn't know how to choose exactly. They had a couple candidates they chose by lot, but that's not the key issue. The key issue is that the successor had to be someone who had been a witness from the baptism of St. John until the resurrection. Of the two witnesses, the one chosen was Matthias instead of Barsabbas. This brings out that passage from the Gospel of John, chapter 15, verses 9 to 17. Our Lord wants his disciples to remain in his love, but they do it by keeping the commandments. Now, St. Matthias knew the commandments of Jesus. He had been there for the Sermon on the Mount, the teaching of the parables, and all the other instructions our blessed Lord Jesus Christ had given his disciples. He is able to be called a friend. In this passage from John 15, we see that our Lord says, I no longer call you slaves, but friends. The reason is, I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. Matthias is a witness of everything that Jesus had told them. 
And everything Jesus told them was the message from God the Father himself. Their mission was to be faithful to that message. In this way, they are truly the disciples of Christ. This gets at the very essence of being the new Israel. The old Israel was able to grow because the 12 patriarchs, the 12 sons of Jacob Israel, had children and grandchildren and generations coming after them, such that they became tribes, especially during their sojourn in Egypt. And then they settled in the land. But with the new Israel, the growth would not be by physical generation. The church does not claim that its members are the physical descendants of the apostles. It's rather a spiritual generation. The seed that St. Peter says that was sown to bring to new birth the souls of the church throughout the centuries was the seed of God's word. Remember, our Lord Jesus spoke of his word as being like a seed that when planted in good ground would bear a hundredfold. This word of God is able to generate, and it has generated a whole church. St. Matthias was chosen to be a replacement as the 12th apostle because he knew that word Jesus had passed on, and he was willing to pass it on to the generations coming after so that that word of Jesus Christ could bring to birth the church, the new Israel, the people of God, who are generated by the power of the word that came from the Father to Jesus Christ and then to his apostles. We hope you've enjoyed today's Season of Joy Reflection. Tune in tomorrow for the next edition in our Easter series. And if you haven't already joined our email list, visit htoh.us to sign up and receive more inspirational content delivered right to your inbox. May God bless your heart and the hearts of all your loved ones.